Here I have the new Betaflight F3 flight controller which I just received yesterday from FP Model. I pre-ordered back in December something or other. It was supposed to ship on November, um, December 20th, but for some reason it arrived yesterday from China. Uh, but these things happen, I'm sure they had a couple delays. I think batches two and three are starting to ship now. They're still taking pre-orders because these things are hot. I kind of feel I should have ordered two, but I ordered one. I just received it, it came with this nice plastic case, um, which is nice presentation for sure. When we open it up, I notice the board is there and also some random um, servo cable, which honestly I don't know why it ships with this, because nobody uses this, but anyway, there it is. So take a look at the board, close up. So there is the top and the bottom. And now it's pretty busy, but there's a reason for that. I'm sure all you know that this is an all-in-one board and um, I kind of predicted that 2017 was going to be the year of the all-in-one board but a lot of all-in-one boards are like board and PDB um, very few have the flight controller PDB and the OSD built-in which this one does but the best part of it is because it's Betaflight it runs the features natively with Betaflight it also supports Boris B, which is great because he puts a lot of work into developing the software. So it's great that uh, finally there's a product that buying it pays him directly too as well, or indirectly through FPV model. Anyway, uh, this board comes from FPV model, which is great because, for example, you guys know they make the uh, X-Racer F303, which is quite a popular board. It's very good, very well laid out. It's a... Uh, board that's very robust and everybody that flies it has to say it flies really well, lasts a long time and they don't tend to break. I'm hoping this board is the same way. This one is of course a lot busier, there's a lot of stuff going on with it compared to the X-Racer which is a lot simpler. Um, being a three in one board, uh, the top and bottom would have to be used but anyway at the bottom we have the slot for the SD card because it natively, natively um, records with a uh, black box to the SD card so there's no fiddling around you know downloading ba uh, black box bo uh, files to the computer takes a long time here it's just straight into the SD card which is a lot quicker a lot better for tuning and then you'll notice that the pad for the motor lead for the um, AESC power cables it has them at the top the corners there and also at the bottom but the bottom ones are actually bigger which tells me that it's probably a lot better if you wire them to the bottom simply because it's going to be a lot easier to solder and pretty clean as well and because there's stuff in the bottom you can get it low but not that low so the cables in the bottom will be probably just fine um, it's, uh, the current sensor is rated at 150 amps which keeps up with today's motors a lot of the old PDB OSDs like the Red Rotor OSD V1 and the Quad Revo Power SD Pro, they all cap at 100 amps. But now with all these motors that pull more than 100 amps, it's great to have uh, current sensors that provide that much, um, you know, current cap. And um, so yeah, it runs natively in Betaflight. The OSD and everything can be configured natively through uh, Betaflight. Um, one thing you'll notice is the power, the main power leads. It's actually there's only one pad, and the reason for that is there's a pad at the top and a pad at the bottom. The bottom pad is the positive, and the top pad is the ground. So you just wire them like this, which is the first time I've ever seen that, but it seems like a good approach. It runs um, three or five volts selectable for your receiver. So if you run in Spectrum, you can uh, select um, three volts, and if you run in Free Sky, you can select five volts. And I'm pretty sure they run out of the same pins. I would have to look at the diagram. But that is what I gather if they're going to do a selectable um, power for the receiver. So MPU 6000 gyro. It's got the boot button there. Ah, one thing I really like about this board and not many of the all-in-one boards have. So, for example, I really like the Motolab Tempest. I've been flying a couple of them. I really like it. It flies really well, very well laid out, very well designed board. Moto, uh, Moto Moto doesn't really like or or kind of believe in current sensors based on noise or whatever. I'm not an uh, electronics engineer, but the point is that his board 
doesn't have an OSD, it doesn't have a current sensor, um, and it's also big. So what, what I find is that I can run it on some builds, but on some others it just doesn't fit. I tried to put it into a, a tweaker, it wouldn't fit because it hit the standoffs. I wanted to put it, I put it actually in a Bolt 180 uh, race. But the problem is that then I have to modify the frame. Like I can't wrap the strap around it because it grabs on the board. So I just do the top plate. So um, I like the fact that this one is a standard size. It doesn't protrude on any end, so it should fit anywhere that a regular flight controller will fit. Yes, you might have to get creative in how you feed the cable so it don't, don't crash into stuff. It might not fit in um, Shindro's Mako because of the wiring, but maybe you can put the wire inside or you can figure it out. But the point is the board itself is the right size. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is going to be very good. Uh, I'm sure it's going to fly great and I'm pretty excited to get it going. So there it is. The beta, oh, and it's got the little beta flight B on it too there, see? The little stinger. And that's it, beta flight F3 flight controller. You know, oh, the other thing exciting about this thing is just the fact that it is meant and designed for beta flight. It is not a board that was originally made for clean flight and adapted over. Um, the board is basically supports the main developer of beta flight, which is Boris B. And he gets a portion of the sales of this thing. We're going to put this thing in four wheel drive and get out of here and go fly.